what's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And I know what y'all saying. Man, you late, man. Where you been at? We been talking about Gucci, man. We was like, Gucci this, Gucci that. Where you been, Cino? You slipping. Cino, you slipping. You are slipping, Cino. What's going on here? So, once again, I have to enlighten the entire world. What's been going on? And yes, I have seen the Gucci Man interview with Charlemagne the God. So, for everybody who just got here, let me introduce myself again. This is Carcino for Life Channel. Don't forget, you guys can donate to the page by hitting the Cash App up or hitting me up in the Streamlab, leaving your questions there and suggestions in the Streamlab where it says Super Chat. That's how you, you know, get my attention. <laughs> So, on that case, now that you know, we move forward. So, today aired an interview that was previously recorded by Charlemagne the God and Gucci Man. Now, everyone told me about this interview that was coming up. Charlemagne interviewed Gucci. And, oh, it's going to be explosive. Now, I heard that. And I'm like, okay. I didn't know what format it was going to show up on. Uh, whether it's Netflix or however they were going to do it. So anyway, it showed up, and everybody sent that clip. Today was just information day. So the clip was flying out. Of course, I had other things prior that was more important to me to deal with, like getting my Star Wars tickets. And I'm the first person in the country to get Star Wars tickets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take my vows. Now... Now that that has been accomplished for Rise of Skywalker, got all my tickets, I can get back to talking to you about what actually went down. So while he was there, he, they got, he went through a whole plethora of things. And of course, at the end of this interview, here comes the question about Angela Yee. Where he brings up the information about, you know, the uh, tape and go back to the interview that they did. And was like, hey... You know, um, they go back to what happened on the incident, and he was like, look, a girl start telling you, you know, she she can handle this, and, you know, you know about Asian women. They say, yeah, our stuff is deep. Why would you say that? Do you say that to all your guests? Why would you even bring that up? Because that's the thing. That show that he was on, that's the thing. They get dark and deep and say all these kind of things and all this stuff here. And I tell you, I believe Gucci. I believe Gucci. I believe in this situation, Angela Yee is not being forthright and honest. She's only talking about certain things. When he said, you tried to call me or whatever and hit me up. You know, he probably meant social media, anything else. She's like, I don't have his phone number. You know, she wants to be particularly <clears throat> covering all her bases. But I told you about them. I told you about them. I told you about these two. This is how they operate. I told you Charlemagne is not linked with, with Envy and Angela Yee. Okay, when you see Angela Yee doing a bit, do you see Charlemagne there? No. When they do promos and business together, you see Envy and you see Angela Yee. <clears throat> and the reason you see them two together is because those two are linked together in businesses. Envy helps her out in a lot of ways and help her structure her things and get them set up. You know, that's his, that's her teammate. They, they're branded together, and they're trying to do something on their own because Charlemagne is his own entity. Have you noticed he never really brings up his other castmates? 
They say Charlemagne of the Breakfast Club, and he never mentions Angela Yee or DJ Envy. He never does. You guys never peep that, do you? It's all about him. You see, and that's the and that's the factor where he's like, look, I got my own brand, what I'm doing, and y'all got what y'all doing. So if he leaves, the show is basically dead. And he's already was threatening to leave. Plenty of times before, because he knows his worth. So he's positioning himself to get out of it. Now, you've got to look at the situations as it appears to the rest of the public now. The way it appears to the public now is you got Gucci Man who was there in 2016. He brings it up, like, thinking it's nothing. And she was just, like, all caught off guard. And she got defensive and denied it. And he was like, no, you did. We had the interview and everything. So after this interview was over, he brought up the fact that he was trying to get on the show and his management and the record label, he's like, we can't do it, but they don't want to let you back on. They saying she don't feel comfortable. So why you keep saying he's not banned? Nobody banned Gucci. We didn't ban him. Why would y'all sit there and lie and act like the man was making that up? When you knew forthright, the man's agent is not going to come back and tell him we keep trying to get you on the show, but we keep getting denied because they keep saying she don't feel comfortable. Why? Well, where's they, where are they getting that from? And y'all keep saying, okay, he is not banned. And then you're going to do that thing and let her defend herself on the show. Y'all wanted to set that up. And you was all in on it, Envy. And you were instigating it. And I was saying it when it happened and they did that little thing and Angela did her part. I'm like, Envy was right along with it. And he's being that tough guy, you know, I'm backing up my home, but girl, okay. Now, we already know Envy. Envy, I ain't never, I don't know where they got that information from. I ain't never got smacked up. Okay, Envy. Okay. <laughs> I'll just let you dwell in that re reality if you want to. <laughs> hey, that's all I'm going to say. Let you dwell in that reality to itself. It's going to all come back. Because these people are exactly who I said they were. And now the whole world is finding out. Everything I'm saying is coming true, and everybody keeps getting on my case. Like I'm saying something wrong. I'm just a hater. No, we know these people, man. We know how they operate. The reason why Angela Yee got so defensive is because this is what women do when they're in a new relationship. Like, I got a goofy ex right now who acting weird. You know, I'm like, hey, happy birthday to you. And, you know, this and that. And, you know, I always said I'll check in on you, see how you was doing and all that. And she's just acting weird. And I'm just like, I'm just curious. Like, what's going on with you? Well, I'm having dinner with my boyfriend right now. I'm like, you could have texted that a long time ago. Why you? Why did you go through this whole operation? You could have just texted me that a long time ago and just said, "Yo, I'm seeing somebody," you know. And you know, so I really can't conversate now. I'm kind of in the situation. That's no problem with me. I don't. I'm not trying to get you back. We were cool, so I'm just making sure we still cool. You know, doing the cool thing. You know, like, there ain't no problems here. It's all love. So, just because the relationship didn't work out, but with Angela Yee, she was in a relationship, and she's over here like, oh, my God, I can't say nothing. You know, like, my man gonna ask you questions. Exactly your man gonna ask you questions. Oh, you was trying to get over Gucci Man? And she was dating somebody from the Brooklyn Nets at the time. I don't know if they're still together, what's going on. She might be still with him. I don't know. But I know at that time she was in a relationship. <laughs> and even though that was in the past, who knows if she was dating that guy at that time. But whatever has been said, they don't want their name attached to that. That messes with their brand. That make, that make them look like less than nothing. So it becomes a problem.
So after a while, you're looking around and you say to yourself, man, this is getting out of hand. You know, this is really going someplace that it probably shouldn't. And Gucci is a guy that they shouldn't be playing with. They should have just let this go. You know, and now you didn't tick them off. There's a bunch of events that you can see this guy at. And then for Gucci, I say these words. Let it go. I know you mad about it because they trying to make you look like a liar. And trying to play old stuff to try to make you look bad. And that whole interview they did the other day on that breakfast club when they did that, I know that pissed you off because the way Envy was instigating it. And I know that made you want to slap him. I know. But that guy the police, man. <laughs> His father is a retired police officer who ain't retired. You understand what I'm saying? That dude going to go running to daddy. And believe me, his daddy right now is looking for a way to have you jammed up. Okay? He's done it before. Let me just tell you this right now. From me to you, Gucci, he's done it before. All right? Him and his wife are synonymous with the police. And looking into your child support, all kind of situations will come at you. You'll start getting letters in the mail. Lay off envy. <laughs> it is not worth it in the end, brother. He is not worth it. Trust me. This has already happened before. This is what this guy does. This is what slimy people do. They 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 start a, they talk a big game, then when it gets to their face, they cop and please, they hide behind doors. And calling the police. <laughs> so <laughs> don't get into any war words with DJ and be let him ride because it's only going to come out not good. So, with that being said, your boy Carcino says he's out. Check the four videos in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you.